Live at 4. If you're looking for something fun and a little adventurous to do this week before Thanksgiving, meteorologist Alan Rose, he has you covered. He's live this afternoon from the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum with his latest adventure. So much fun to be had there, Alan. Yeah, Elizabeth, and this place is completely state of the art, completely immersive and fun. Right now I'm in my favorite part of the museum. This is the athlete training gallery. Check it out. This is alpine skiing. I don't want to leave you hanging, but I'm going to try to see how many gates I can clear and how well this race goes. Check out my story in the meantime. This week, our adventures take us to the United States Olympic and Paralympic Museum in downtown Colorado Springs. Opening this past summer, the museum is a fully immersive and interactive experience that celebrates past U.S. Olympic and Paralympic athletes. After checking in, we ride up a gorgeous elevator so tall they joke that it's built for Olympic basketball players. Exiting the elevator, the self-guided tour begins in the introduction to the games area. Here, you'll learn about the history of the ancient games and the origin of the modern Olympic games. The highlight in the section is the Olympic torches on full display. The museum has 38 Olympic torches on display and dates back to the 1936 games in Berlin and includes the most recent torch, Tokyo 2021. In addition to the torches, you can look through a database and find information on every single Olympic and Paralympic athlete that's represented our country. More than 12,000 athletes are featured right here on this interactive wall, including two-time Olympian and my buddy from back home in Orlando, Mark Ruiz. Now it's time to move on to the most exciting and interactive gallery. The athlete training area is by far the most popular spot in the museum, according to the museum's director of communications and marketing, Tommy Shield. The athlete training is just a lot of fun. What's, what's really unique about it is we worked with Team USA athletes to make sure that it's an authentic and real experience. That was me getting dusted by 1936 Olympic gold medalist, Jesse Owens. No, we're close. <laughs> From track and field to testing out my archery skills. That's a good score. The athlete training gallery features six different sports for guests to try. I don't have time for all of them, but I couldn't leave before some goal ball and alpine skiing. Up next, the lab. Here we see how science and technology play a key role in maximizing an athlete's performance. It's amazing to see how technology has allowed sport to advance over time. And abide by the rules that govern that. Next, we walk into the Parade of Nations. It's here that we feel the rush of what it must be like for these athletes to walk in the opening ceremony. The next two galleries are dedicated to the Summer and Winter Olympic Games. Guests can use their badges to see exhibits come to life. Another great interactive and personal touch. With each turn, I'm truly blown away at the detail and magnitude of each exhibit. One of the final sections features a nearly complete collection of Olympic medals. Remarkable to see. We end our day in the medal ceremony room where emotions run high. In this final gallery, like all the rest, you can really see the attention to detail that the museum went through in creating such a unique experience. Alan, that looks so cool. I need to get out there still. Now this museum, it's only been open for four months now and we know it opened during a pandemic. So how has that affected um, guests coming through at this time? Well, Elizabeth, it's a good question, and they tell us that there are capacity limits. You'll see hand sanitizing stations set up throughout the museum, and you'll also notice staff coming through on a regular basis to clean and make sure that it's completely sanitary. They also say the safety of their guests and their staff is of utmost importance. More information can be found on their website. You can also purchase tickets there at usopm.org. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Meteorologist Alan Rose, News 5. Great.